What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and it is your Thursday update with content and we're going to be taking a look at everything new this Thursday the 16th of March. So there's a couple of bits and pieces to get through. Obviously there's a load of players to get through and you know we will be streaming today and going through some stuff in real time and obviously just being able to have a chat about everything and have a bit of a more in-depth breakdown. Uh, we will be streaming at from about three o'clock uh, till maybe six o'clock so it'll be a longer stream so anyway right we're going to kick off obviously we'll take a look at the packs in a second authentic match just in case you can't get to your pc or your playstation or your xbox or whatever uh, version of the game you play there is nothing in authentic match in dream team obviously we have the rinse and repeated events as usual the eFootball league is still underway that doesn't get reset but the events here as we've seen before so obviously all of these are recycled again so the spanish league you get your free spin when you clear that your free player of the week chance deal uh the national team one that is still ongoing there with messi so that is obviously rinse and repeated as well there was a neymar one there a while ago this is now changed to messi it's exact same um challenge event and it's the exact same rewards everything is pretty much the exact same We've also got our user matches, which you complete that. You get your e-football coins of 50 coins. And then on top of that, we have the uh, European clubs, which is still going. And we have the Liga BBVA, which is still going as well. So there's nothing really new here. I would say that obviously these are new, so to speak, as in you can you can get more rewards and you can like get the new rewards if you'd already cleared them from last week. But in terms of anything being actually new, there is nothing here. There's no like... Um, you know, special event or anything like that. Some against the AI, obviously, some against uh, the normal teams. And then everything else is the same. On top of that, we do get a bit of news here, obviously, with this. So it's a Ramadan campaign available now. Um, we've also got the new match pass I'm going to be doing. I do like this wallpaper, man. It looks really nice. The graphics have improved quite a bit, I think, in terms of, I mean, the actual graphics in-game at the assets. Um, but this is a login campaign. Log in during the following campaign period and earn 100,000 GP. So simply just log in between the 16th and the 27th. And then obviously you will be getting your 100,000. We have that in the inbox here. You get that. You don't need to do anything apart from log in. So there you go. There's the Ramadan campaign there. And we will get the other login bonus and the login bonus eFootball coins, which is a continuation of the campaigns that are already ongoing. So we'll just claim all those. We now have nearly 7 million GP again. Um, and the coins are continuing to amass up there as well. We also have a brand new match pass. So this match pass here um, is going to be 27 days. And we have the match pass here, uh, which is a brand new one starting today. And it's going until the 13th to the 4th. So I reckon that's when the update is going to come. The 13th of the 4th, if I'm right, I'll just double check here is actually a Thursday. Yeah, so it's Thursday, April Thursday the April, Thursday the April, uh, April the 13th is a Thursday. That's what I'm trying to say, lads, right? So I reckon we will either get the next big update that date or else the 20th when there's a new match pass. That's where it usually be uh, is. But um, it kind of leads me to believe, which we'll talk about in a second, and I'll get into the live stream later as well, um, why I think things could be a bit more streamlined. So this match pass, as usual, lads, it's rinse and repeat. If you are a newcomer to the channel, this regular one, uh, or a newcomer to the game this regular version here of the match pass is free to play so you don't need to do anything you just start playing games naturally against the ai clearing events playing online and you will clear this every tier in this all the way up to 50 is free to unlock and free to get the reward all you have to do is play matches you do need to unlock the value in the premium right so the unlock for them are 500 or a thousand if you've previously bought a match pass before if you haven't then that, that will be a 50 percent discount on that now in terms of the rewards i am going to be doing a video on whether or not whether i think these match passes are worth it or not i think diego jata is a very interesting player because of the dummy runner play style he also has unwavering form and some nice player skills but we'll get into that um he is going to be a free player or not a free player he's going to be the value player 94 overall center forward and we also have the monster pepe i'd be tempted to get pepe man just because he's an absolute beast um but he goes up quite high as well as he's going to be a very very good player because he's got such high aggression you know you track him up there like 10 levels and you're going to have 92 defensive awareness 80 attack and 96 aggression and 93 defensive engagement so that's going to be very interesting for pepe he also has the height with the jumping and the physical contact 
you can get a player that's going to be in the 90s with all defending stats and in the 80s with all the aerial strength stats. So I think that he could be a bit of a beast. He also has unwavering form. He doesn't have blocker or intercept. Well, he does have interception, but not blocker, which is a bit of a pity. Um, but yeah, I do think that they're very interesting players to look at. So we'll get into that as well. Um, and then on top of that, as well as we do have the... What else did I see here? Oh yeah, we have all the new players. So we've Barcelona. We'll get to that in a sec. We've got the Worldwide Player of the Week. We've also got the classics still ongoing. They're not new, the Roma ones. And we do also have a brand new, um, we have all of these as well. Maybe it's not in here. Yeah, sorry, lads. We have new nominating contracts. So a lot of people have been asking about these. Look, everyone was saying, oh, you know, and like these special edition showdown players were coming today. No, it's back to epics, right? So we've got Barcelona epics. I will do a review on these. Sami Eto'o, Xavi, and Vitor Baye. Uh, these are three very good players. I mean, Eto'o is a monster, man. Look at that. 98 overall, he goes up to everything you could possibly want. Speed and acceleration into the 96 and 95 stats with 10 uh, on it. And then the finishing is going to be, you know, I mean, he's, he's probably going to be the best center forward, I think, in the game uh, after this week. Genuinely, him and Romario. Uh, Xavi, obviously, as well. You can see there. Look at the passing from his base level with 32 levels to go. You know, I mean, it's just ridiculous at this stage, man, how good some of these players go. Xavi is going to be a monster CMF. And then Viterbaia, he's going to be an average enough goalkeeper, I think, compared to what else is out there because he's quite small. But I do like that 80 reflexes straight off the rip. So we'll get into a review on them quite soon. We will have it up. We already have the player of the week up. The classics we've already covered. And then we have new packs here at the end, right? So the J-League one, there is a couple of players in there I will get into. And especially these are a little bit enticing because they're all four star. They're maxed out at four star. So if you've got a lot of four star um, ones there or you unlock a couple in this week's match pass, you can actually sign a couple of these fairly straight up. Um, and you've got some good players. You've got Ito there as a very decent AMF, a creative midfielder. You've got this guy Osaka as a fox in the box is not bad either for a four star. You've also got Junker here who's got a very good um, card for a four star. I mean, it's practically a free player. Um, but the big, you know, all eyes are going to be on these ones. I think these are probably some of the best, potentially some of the best free players that they've re re uh, released. You've got Ederson, who is a monster. He's got 16 levels, really good stats. He does have standard form, but I'm not too worried about that um, because, you know, you know what you're getting with him, very safe. We've also got Shuamene. This guy is a beast. A form this week, lads. If you don't have him, I will definitely 100% be buying him. I just need to see what the other version looks like in the review that we do. He is a box-to-box -box DMF, so I think he's going to be a monster. Excellent stats. He's got 28 levels to go, and he goes into a, a bit of a beast. We've also got Enzo Fernandez, obviously new signing for Chelsea, a box-to-box. -box. He intrigues me as well. Him and Chuamene, if you've got the two of them, I think you'll have a very decent central spine to your midfield this week. We've also got Sergio Ramos, who, again, it's Sergio Ramos, man. He'll always, you know, be a beast for you. He'll never let you down, really. Um, he doesn't have blocker. That's the only thing that lets him down. But the unwavering form does help. Rafa Silva and Perisic, two very good wingers and cross specialists. Obviously, Rafa Silva is more of a dribbler and prolific winger. One of the most underrated players in the game, Rafa Silva. Lads. I'm definitely going to probably buy him if I do get another five star. I will probably buy two or three of these if we get a couple of five stars. And then on top of that, we've got Dambele. A lot of people love Dambele. They love him. They think he's an excellent player. Uh, standard form does kill his card a little bit, but his players, stats, everything else brings up for it. And then to round it off, Des, Vanekin, Tell, and Korea. I mean, it's an excellent nominating contract, lads. There is no three-star there, so it's only four and five-star. But I think that if you are starting off and you clear the match past a few, there are some excellent players in here that can literally last you until the end game. So... That is pretty much it, lads. We do have everything else covered. I think that's it. Uh, just a quick roundup. As I said, I will be streaming today, so we'll go into a few more details. We don't really have any news or anything like this, just that people um, have been refunded. If people bought the Fortress packs on the 9th of March, not on the 10th when they re-added them, but on the 9th of March, you will get those back. You will be refunded them, and you will be able to still keep your players. And then on top of that, we have the upcoming events here. It's just a list of things, right? So this goes the whole way until the 10th of April, 
which makes it seem that every event is going to last three to four days. So what's happening after, you know, the 10th of April, maybe the 13th or 14th of April? Well, that lines in with the new match pass. So I think that's when the new season will kick off. But we will get into that later. And I'm talking about the V2.5 update in April. So that would be the tentative date that I would set. But anyway, lads, that is it. A slightly longer one uh, this week for a weekly roundup. But keep the comments coming in. Keep the suggestions coming in. I'll be back streaming in a couple of hours Depending on when I upload this video, maybe I'm already streaming or else I have streamed. But yeah, hope to see you guys in there. Peace.